AK review is finally here that I've been subtly promising for too long. <laughs> finally got an early day at work, so we're gonna go over my Palmetto State Armory AK GF3, uh, what I've done to it, how I feel about it, and uh, if I think it was worth the money after 1,000 rounds. So uh, for the overview process here, we're just going to go uh, with something you guys are pretty familiar with at this point, a little tip to butt action. So let's start up front here. All right, so starting at the tip here, we have the Nightbreak from Manticore, Manticore Arms. Um, it's a nice little compensator flash hider deal. Um, didn't want to go with a muzzle brake because I guess it's a video for another time maybe, but I'm not the biggest fan of muzzle brakes. Um, I just wanted something other than the little, you know, the little, the little this thing that AKs, <laughs> that comes on most AKs. Um, and I've noticed a little difference, um, you know, which is, uh, which is pretty, pretty par for the course as far as, uh, muzzle devices are concerned, you know. I doubt anyone's throwing a muzzle device on their gun and basically behaving completely differently. Um, but I've noticed, uh, better flash suppression as well as, uh, a little less muzzle rise since switching to this, which is really, you know, that's basically what I was looking for. Most uh, default muzzle devices are fine, but I am glad I purchased this and put that on there. Would recommend. Um, just a side note, my AK GF3's uh, iron sights. I don't know, this this bothers some people. It doesn't really bother me, but um, the accurate setting for mine is... Oh, focus, please. Please. It's like pretty far to the left. So if you're OCD... Um, that might bother you. I know it's kind of hit or miss with AKs where this needs to line up in the center <laughs> for it to be on. Um, but, you know, just a little note there. Moving into the handguard here. I've had some people uh, who've seen me shoot this gun ask what handguard this is. I have no clue. It's <laughs> just an M-Lock, just an M-Lock uh, rail that comes with the Palmetto AKs. Um, it's got M-Lock up here and three slots, or three slots in three positions on the lower handguard. Um, and then on the, the gas block cover it has up there as well. Um, I like it. It, it, it does get hot. It's a metal handguard on an AK. Um, if you're not aware about AKs, this whole shebang right here, the whole gas tube, all, all, all this, this gets extremely hot. And uh, in the sunlight, you know, a sunny day, it transfers over to this pretty hard. So th this does get hot, especially in this area. Uh, some of my footage uh, was filmed in really warm weather. You'll actually see me have a glove on just like my left hand here. Uh, just because it was it was getting, you know, occasionally I'll slip up and touch this. And just this part in general is getting fairly uncomfortable to hold. Although, it's got very minimal, like, rattle, you know. It sits, it's sitting pretty tight on this AK. And uh, I like the way it looks. And I like the uh, load of attachment options. So... Uh, if you see this version on their website and you're interested about the handguard, um, I think it's pretty great, honestly. But just be aware, it will get hot, and, um, and that's really the only downside I see. But again, metal handguard on AK, it's going to get hot. It also has uh, Picatinny up top. Um, that is, uh, you know, I just basically used to route my cable through here. Um, also, sorry uh, if my voice sounds a little whack. As you can see, there is a load of pollen out here. It's on my gun. It's been sitting out here for like <laughs> 10 minutes. So, uh, sorry about my voice. Uh, for the weapon light, we have the TLR1. No, it's upside down. HPL. So, does that fix it? Uh, <laughs> it's giant, as you can see. It's absolutely massive. Look at that. Oh, man. A little kaleidoscope action. Um, and, you know, it's got a pressure pad. It's extremely bright. You can probably see it, like, pretty hard in the daylight here. Um, it's an immeasurably bright flashlight. Um, and it's got a very wide throw. Um, I'll be honest, guys. Listen, I'm not above admitting when I do things like this. I bought this mostly because I thought it would look awesome on this gun. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's a giant light on my AK, and I feel like the AK needed a massive light. Um, that's the main reason I got it. However, I will say I'm actually very happy with it. I have the TLR1 just HL on uh, some pistols I have. Pistols, and I really like it. So this is basically just a one with an extremely wide throw. Uh, the only downside, I'll show you in a second. So the only issue with this bad boy, the way I have it set up, 
is as you can see, uh, you know, if you played Escape from Tarkov, if you're an Escape from Tarkov guy, you, you've probably seen this a time or two, and uh, yeah, it's real life, um, <laughs> where your barrel and, uh, you know, gas tube, all this junk is, like, in the way of your light. Um, if in the future I was to get a handguard that came out to here, and the light was here, that would be much less, if an issue at all. Um, if I was going to redo the way I have this built, maybe I would have gone with a different light, but, you know, I really like the way it looks, and uh, some of you guys probably don't think it looks very cool, uh, but it is not your rifle, and I don't care. <laughs> Alright, so up next we have the little uh, BCM hand stop. Um, this is probably a good time to address the tape. This is called Goon Tape. I found them on uh, Instagram, and it's like it's soft grip tape, maybe you would say. Um, I, uh, it, it is mostly on here just because I think it looks cool, and uh, you know I don't care if you think it doesn't look cool. Um, I will say the only actual like hard benefit I've noticed is having is like I said fairly soft so having this over where my cheek goes actually does make it a little more comfortable to shoot um, other than that I've just covered up like giant white oh except for this I guess but you know this is a hollow sun all that stuff and I just like the way it looks so that's the story behind the tape oh, but anyways this little hand stop is pretty great um, I grip my rifle like this, as you've seen in the video. Uh, I use this, this is really good to just crank into and pull into your body. Um, didn't really want to go with a traditional 90 degree angle grip. Um, for some reason I find the way the AK kind of ergonomics work, I just like being able to pull it directly into my shoulder really hard. And, you know, if we're being honest guys, um, does, does the grip actually matter? Like, as long as you can brace your hand against, like, you know, theoretically, if you had an M-lock uh, piece of wood here, <laughs> you know, as long as it's something to pull into your shoulder, does it actually matter? Then I think after that, it's down to preference. And I find that this actually fits my hand pretty well. Um, it's just great to pull into it. Um, yeah, I like it. Would recommend if you haven't tried it. Uh, magazines next. This is like... This is made in, does it say on here? It is made in Bulgaria. According to Gun Mag Warehouse, this is made in Bulgaria. Uh, I actually haven't even used this mag yet. Um, but uh, I, it, I use P mags, uh, metal military surplus mags, one metal Korean mag. And believe it or not, uh, the only failures I noticed, uh, one on the metal Korean mag when I dropped it, um, the follower popped up really far. Um, and then I just had to push it back down, but that's not like the weirdest issue. And then weirdly, uh, two spring failures on the P mags. I don't know if I, uh, ape strength put 31 rounds in and then it got wedged in there somehow, but I, I just took all the rounds out and beat it real good. Um, actually on my shoe, you know, a little bit of that action and at a follower pack pops back up and they've been working fine. You know, they're AK mags. Um, I think as long as you're not buying a pro mag, you're fine with whatever you go with. All right, so up next we have the Hollow Sun HE403CGR, and believe it or not, that's why I haven't taped that because I have no clue <laughs> what, what this site is called. It's a green laser, uh, or excuse me, a green dot. If uh, if we can get a focus here for you guys, you would love to see it. I promise. It's it's it's, it's beautiful. Come on, hold on. You know what? That's fine now. Um, I don't. I never had a green optic. Never had a green dot, just wanted to go with it. Um, however, uh, I'm not going to recommend this optic, and I will explain to you why. So your your adjustment turrets are great. Uh, you get nice little caps, so you're not going to smash it on a tree, because we're all LARPing in the woods these days. Um, oh, wait, no, no, never mind. Recce is out. Uh, Urban Survival's in. That's my bad. Um, so, you know, uh, they're, they're, you're fine. You're protected there. The buttons are actually pretty great. I like the buttons. But this this battery tray, I, I hate this battery tray. I'm going to get heated talking about this. These screws, it's hard to tell. Uh, let's see, this is a pinky thumbnail. Okay. The, that is how small these things are. Like, they strip so easily. They strip so easily, in fact, that when you get this optic in the box, it comes with another tray and two more screws because it knows you're going to absolutely strip the hell out of them. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I hate it. I, ha I hate it. I hate that it's stripped and I hate that it's going to be an absolute you know what to get off and replace uh, i hate it don't buy this optic hollow sun makes pretty competitive uh optics for the price i like the green dot 
Um, I just, I, it, in, unless you're, you know, unless you're comfortable with these, with these trays here, if you like that, you know what, that's enough. But the, I, I, I <laughs> maybe I have like an unjust hatred of this battery tray, but um, that's my review of the optic is I like it. It's held zero. It's great. It's a beautiful optic. Um, you know, it's got the whole solar gimmick, but, but, the, but this tray, bro, this tray. <laughs> This absolute awesome 10 out of 10 optic is mounted on is a Midwest Industries um, AK uh, Picatinny scope mount. I think that's probably, if you type that in, this exact thing will come up, I promise. Um, once you get it cranked down with all the weird stuff you have to do to get a dang optic on your AK that'll hold zero, um, it's great. I've had no issues. It does not. It does not rattle. It does not. It, I've got it down to where you really have to crank on this to secure it, but it's not going anywhere. Um, it's great. I love this thing. Uh, do me a favor. If you have a, a like more Gucci optic mount than this, uh, comment below and tell me why it's better because I see no issue with this. Uh, it, it, and I see no reason to ever like pay for anything more than the Midwest Industries mount. You know, like there's a lot of things like sights, for example. Like, yeah, for sure, generally, the more money you spend, the nicer you're going to get. But, like, I don't know. This is this is pretty great. I like this. So I recommend this pretty hard. Um, and it fits the Palmetto A case. Uh, I saw on Reddit, like, 30,000 people asking that question. So <laughs> I think it fits every AK. I don't think there, I don't think it has issues unless they're really whack or something. I don't, I don't know. We're on to the trigger now. Um... It's just whatever the heck trigger Palmetto State Armor uses. It's pretty default. Uh, if we wanna, if we wanna gram thumb style this, let's get in here. Let's get in here. All right. A little. Oh man. Well, it's just a little bit of mush. Oh god. I, I'm not. I don't do it the way the way he does it. But uh, let's see. Let's go again one more time. Let's see. We got. We got just a little, a little mushy. And then. Uh, there's really no. Uh, it's just a little mush, and then it breaks. There's. You don't really get a. You know, you don't really get a tactile, like no 100% when it's gonna break. But it's pretty good. It's 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 I, I have no issues with the trigger. But I also don't have issues with like, I've I've had very little issues with triggers. <laughs> I don't I don't really care um, about triggers that much as long as they're not like objectively awful, like 30 pounds or something. Like it, it they don't really bother me. Last little comment on the trigger I'll say is like, so like I actually like the mil spec. Uh, AR-15 mil spec AR-15 trigger um, so like that's like as long as the trigger isn't worse than that I'm gonna like not really care that much I don't think I'm a good enough shooter yet to notice you know like something better does that make sense uh, hope I didn't just roast myself too hard uh, I actually like this trigger a little better than a mil spec AR trigger so do with that information what you will uh, we have a Magpul MOE uh, AK uh, little grip here. <laughs> it's got the little door on the bottom. I don't think I have anything in this one. No, but uh, you know that's uh, that's pretty great. Pretty 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 large amount of room there. Uh, wrapped some little tape around it. Been gripping it pretty hard, so the tape is now just kind of fusing to the grip, which I actually like. Uh, <laughs> it's a good grip. It's got a great angle on it. Um, I'm happy with it. Don't think I'll ever switch that off. Um, would recommend. And then uh, I guess this this uh, this is the one thing I will replace next on this gun, for the record. So, is the sling. It's just the Magpul quick adjust, um, you know, sling. Uh, it has zero padding. Um, with given the weight of this gun, fully loaded and all that, uh, I would like a sling with a pad. So. Uh, however, I don't dislike the sling, and I don't overly hate the way Magpul's quick adjust works. Um, I don't mind it. I do like, I have a couple T-Rex arm slings, um, which may, and I may end up putting one on this as well. Um, they have like a tab, it's a lot easier to grab. Just yank down and yank up to adjust. This is a little more, you know, you have to be a little more precise with this. A little, You have to be a little more deliberate in your action. Um, but yeah, I've got it attached to like a Magpul QD on this side and one of these Magpul uh, hooks up front here for our little, uh, you know, on the little uh, little AK square there, as I call it, little AK tab. I'm a big fan of these. 
actually. I have uh, other guns with, um, I guess, what is it like? They call them clash hooks? HK hook? I don't know. The little hook style attachments. I like these better than the hooks um, because you can lock them. And now they can't come open. Um, and I think they also look cool. And as we all know, that is more important to being functional. Although, honestly, uh, I kind of prefer the QD cups, but didn't feel like putting, I like the, I really like the position of this because it's not gonna get in the way if I mount a quick attach point up here, you know? It's not gonna get in my way. I like, I like where it's at. Okay, that sling segment was overly long. So now onto the stock, we have the Magpul Zukov stock. Wow, that was eloquent. Excellent camera work. Um, it's a foldy boy. Uh, it's a foldable, adjustable stock. Um, design flaw, uh, in quotations, not, not, not the biggest thing ever. Um, so you'll note at the top here, uh, there's a little, uh, little, little, little stuff going on up here. A little, uh, little bit of that action going. Uh, that's from firing it, uh, fully collapsed by the way, um, with it folded. The charging handle just mauls the stock for some reason. So um, if you care about your stuff looking pretty, which I clearly do not, um, that will be an issue for you. And you will write an angry email to customer service. But uh, honestly, I don't care. If anything, it makes it look cooler. But that's just like a note, uh, not really a con. Uh, but to be fair, when the charging handle was maliciously assaulting my stock, it still cycled totally fine, so it's not like it would have killed me or anything. I wouldn't have been killed in the streets, as the kids are saying. <laughs> uh, but uh, overall on the stock, I actually like it a lot. Um, the cheek weld for the optic height I have is awesome. In my opinion, it's very natural. I can still get the stock in line with my shoulder a good cheek weld and see my sight perfectly in a very natural motion that doesn't feel uh inhuman non-biomechanical um so yeah overall would recommend the stock uh yeah and the butt pad is pretty great um i my friend recently switched from a very skeletal weird stock to this stock and that was really the only modification he made and I noticed that the recoil, it felt a lot less aggressive into your shoulder recoil wise. So, um, also what helps with recoil is just having an extremely heavy gun with a mag light on the side, uh, you know, all metal furniture, <laughs> fully loaded metal mag or, uh, whatever this is, plastic, I guess. Uh, it's got metal feed lips. Supposedly made in Bulgaria. This is what, uh, I, I don't know. The gun mag warehouse better not have lied to me. Uh, <laughs> okay, so let's go to... The weight of the gun she's a heavy gun she's a heavy girl she's real thick she's real forward heavy uh, helps with recoil a whole lot not great to run around with all day that's all i'll say this with everything on here the gun's pretty heavy uh not so heavy as like you want to cry about it but um, i promise this is heavier than your ar <laughs> or at the very least if you've got a night vision capable ar with high quality optics and mounts that is pretty getting fairly heavy on like a quad rail it's probably about as heavy as this um i don't actually have a scale to weigh it but it's definitely heavier than all of my ars and i've got some a lot of crap on some of them let's talk about malfunctions i have experienced zero malfunctions while shooting this gun that were not magazine related uh one right around a thousand rounds um a little over so zero malfunctions no issues at all um and like i said i had those magazine failures but other than that it's been great so i'll just start the conclusion and future plans for this rifle here conclusion i like it i like it a lot it's definitely my favorite rifle to shoot um and that's really all I have to say about it. It's a workhorse, It's I've had no issues with it. Now I did not do any sort of beating up my gun purposefully because, uh, you know, I bought all of this with my own cash. So, you know, we weren't out there beating it to death in the woods or anything or drowning it because I don't really want to do that to my guns. Um, other people have done that and uh, it's performed pretty well. But, you know, it's, it's an AK. Uh, it's a very reliable 
open system that can take a lot of punishment. And uh, if you hate cleaning guns, it's great because uh, I think I've cleaned this one time. Uh, like, I've, like if I clean, I mean like <laughs> I maybe just lubed it and then like wiped the bolt down very quickly. Um, it's great. Uh, so let's talk about future plans for this rifle. Future plans. Uh, up front here, I would eventually, and by the way, eventually means like a year or two from now. It's not an immediate plan. It's not that big an issue for me. Would love a handguard that reached to here. I know that high quality ones are generally pretty expensive, um, but I would like to be able to push my light out to here and establish a grip right around here. Um, I would like that, but again, there's way better things I could be spending my money on, especially ammo. Um, ammo to train with way more important to me right now than getting a better handguard than my perfectly usable handguard that I actually like using. But that's future plans up here. And I may switch the light out, but I really like the way it looks. Uh, future plans for this section of the rifle include getting a new optic eventually. Uh, probably when the battery dies on this, and I, <laughs> which is actually gonna be for a while because I'm pretty sure these have great battery life. Um, and it comes time to take that stupid tray out. You remember when I was talking about that? Remember how much I hate this thing? Um, then I will probably end up just trying to sell the optic or something or giving it to giving it to someone as a gift you know here's a nice used optic happy birthday uh <laughs> don't know what i'll get but it, it, you know maybe an eotech or something i don't know uh, eventually i'd like to switch out the optic and i would eventually like to get a i don't know they call them enhanced safety selector where there's a nub right here so you can activate it like this instead of if you recall the b-roll footage i'm doing the whole the whole this bad boy a little bit of this action really annoying would really like to be able to put it on and off safe um, while still maintaining a firing grip on my rifle that's about that's about as quick as you get so yeah and for the back end of the rifle I love the stock I think it's great so I'm not gonna change anything else all right that's gonna conclude us today ladies and gentlemen and Apache helicopters um, any questions about this gun or anything on it, leave them in the comments. Go ahead and subscribe because the same style video for the Strybog is coming out. And uh, you're really not going to want to miss that. It's a great one, I promise. I haven't finished filming it yet, but I already know it's going to be just going to be amazing. <laughs> uh, constructive criticism, always welcome in the comments how I can make these videos better. Um, plan on getting a camera. Going to have a cameraman dedicated maybe soon, maybe not. I don't know. But other than get a better camera, uh, any comments help a lot. Really appreciate your feedback. Um, also, if you think I did a good job, hit the like button. Um, and uh, subscribe for sure. Because, you know, my ego needs to be stroked. And you have to subscribe or I will not get any sleep for the coming months. Um, any suggestion for future content, leave it in the comments. Um, yeah, I make these videos for fun. So let me know how I can entertain you guys and I'll try my best. Thanks for watching.